and you can hear the mob calling for the death of the Vice President of the United States. Pence versus Trump. The former Vice President announced he will campaign for Georgia Governor Brian Kemp. Donald Trump is backing Kemp's opponent, very publicly, David Perdue. He's made Kemp one of his prime targets for the midterms. Former Vice President and current unemployed man Mike Pence breaking with Donald Trump in the clearest sign yet that Pence is prepared to toss Trump aside ahead of his own 2024 presidential bid. Pence will travel to Georgia next week where he'll defend Republican Governor Brian Kemp from a Trump-backed primary challenge, pitting the vice president squarely against his former boss. And as the Atlanta Journal-Constitution's Patricia Murphy notes, Pence's trip is as much about rebuilding his own shattered personal brand as it is about standing up to Donald Trump or defending democracy. This is huge news. We have known for a long time that Republicans would start to line up behind Brian Kemp as he heads toward his um, primary on May 24th. We did not expect uh, for Mike Pence to be coming in um, and putting in such a big public show of support for Brian Kemp. And just to remind people why Donald Trump is going after Brian Kemp, Brian Kemp, the Republican governor of Georgia refused to do anything special to overturn the results or try to overturn the results of the 2020 election, which Donald Trump lost in Georgia. And, and Trump has never forgiven him. So now you have the former vice president picking sides with the guy that Trump blames in part for losing Georgia. Yeah, and it wasn't just that Donald Trump never forgave Brian Kemp. He recruited David Perdue to run a really unprecedented primary challenge against Brian Kemp. And David Perdue has made claims about the 2020 election, really the center point, the focal point of his campaign against Kemp. It really has not caught on successfully. Brian Kemp is ahead in the polls. He's way ahead in the fundraising. And to be able to have Mike Pence come in at the end really is a kind of a huge show of support from other Republicans. As you usual, Pence isn't taking the risk he'd like you to think he is. Unlike close GOP Senate races where Pence's counter-endorsement might have tipped the scales against wingnuts like J.D. Vance, Kemp is soundly ahead of his opponent, former Republican Senator David Perdue. And a recent Fox News poll showed Kemp leading Perdue by nearly 30 points. Pence's decision has sparked a firestorm of condemnation nonetheless with MAGA Republicans like Fox News' Leo Terrell tweeting, Mike Pence has betrayed President Trump in Georgia. Pence knows he isn't making a difference in the Republican primary. He's basically visiting Brian Kemp and offering his thoughts and prayers. But Pence is hoping that his increasingly public steps away from Donald Trump will fix his sagging national image. A Politico morning consult poll out last week found that even two years later, Voters still hate Mike Pence. That poll showed Pence with a net favorability of negative 11, one point worse than in the same poll a year ago. Pence knows his numbers need big help, and a trip to Georgia is exactly the empty gesture Mike Pence specializes in. So let's talk about what's really going on. Pence's effort to brand himself as a sane alternative to Donald Trump is just that, branding. It's also an example of how Republicans shift Americans' perceptions of what counts as moderate. Compared to Trump's frothing support for fascism, Pence hopes you'll believe his own extreme views aren't quite so crazy. But Mike Pence is still Mike Pence, an extreme anti-choice politician who spent his early career in right-wing talk radio peddling exactly the same hatred and bigotry as the most hardcore MAGA loyalists. Pence, once again is lying to you. Mike Pence is counting on Americans to view him as the victim of Donald Trump's excesses, a helpless pawn trapped in the Capitol while Trump-loving rioters chanted for his murder. But Pence is not a helpless pawn who tried and failed to control an out-of-control president. Mike Pence is a deeply calculating political climber who provided religious conservative cover for some of Donald Trump's most damaging and anti-democratic excesses. With his theatrical and pointless trip to Georgia, Pence is hoping to recast himself as a principal champion of traditional Republican values. Unfortunately for Pence, voters seem to know better.